Welcome back to Student of the Gun University. Now during today's segment we're going to talk about ballistic problem solving or our BPS course. Now what is that? BPS or ballistic problem solving could be considered a step two or a more advanced level firearms training program. Now everybody has to have the basics. You've got to master the basics. You have to have your fundamentals down before you move on. But when I talk about firearms training I like to equate it with driver's education or driver's training. Now when we all went out there and we took our driver's training, what did we do? We got in the car with our instructor, the instructor sat next to us and he told us everything he wanted us to do. He said, put the key in the ignition, turn the car on, you know, apply the brake, apply the gas, you know, turn the wheel, all that stuff. And you went out and what did you do? You went in a parking lot full of orange cones and you very slowly and methodically learned to work your way around those cones. Now after a while you probably got really good and you could run the cones no problem. But what was missing? Well there was no variables there. There were no other cars. There was no traffic, no stop signs and so forth. It was just a flat parking lot full of cones. Well when we train with firearms quite frankly often we get out on the square range we have our instructor and the instructor tells us everything to do. He tells us everything he wants us to do. He says load your pistol, holster your pistol, draw your pistol. He tells you when to put your finger on the trigger and so forth. And eventually you get really good at following instructions. But what you're going to have to do if you want to progress is you're going to have to get off of the square range and you have to get away from the cones. Now once you get away from the cones what do you do? You go out on the road. Well what's on the road? There are variables, there are surprises, there's other cars. You have to pay attention to things that are going on around you. You can't just worry about the cones. Now you have actual other traffic moving around. And the same thing when we talk about ballistic problem solving. Ballistic problem solving is really no more than thinking with a gun in your hand. Now today, my training tool, this is the Glock 17R. It is a non-firing uh, exact replica of the original Glock 17. It actually will load these uh, dummy rounds. You can load dummy rounds in it. It has a reciprocating slide, but it won't fire live ammunition. And on my hip, I have the new CompTAC International Holster. So these are going to be my training aids for today. So when we're talking about ballistic problem solving, we're talking about thinking with a gun in my hand. Well, normally when you're on your square range, you draw a pistol out, your instructor tells you exactly what to do. He says, all right, I want you to shoot the center of the target when I tell you. Is the shooter ready? Yes, the shooter's ready. Shooter, stand by and fire. All that jazz. Okay, what happens is if you do that, you can learn the fundamentals. You can learn to master the fundamentals. However, you can't stay there. If you hope to be able to one day carry a gun to save your own life or the life of someone else, you're not going to have a coach behind you walking around telling you, there's the target. That's the target you should shoot at. I want you to fire two rounds on my command. Is the shooter ready? Stand by. No. You have to be able to think with a gun in your hand. So once you've mastered your fundamentals, you need to move on. And that's where ballistic problem solving comes into effect. We're going to talk about, during ballistic problem solving, we're going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about multiple targets. We're going to talk about target discrimination. There may be several shapes or colors or sizes of targets out in front of you, and you need to make the decision which one you need to put bullets in. For instance, if you have a target that has multiple shapes, rather than shooter, your next target will be the circle. Shooter, stand by, fire. It's going to be something like this. Shooter, fire at the shape which I call square. And instead, you have to draw your pistol. And rather than being told what to do, you have to draw your pistol, find the square, and shoot the appropriate number of rounds. Square. Now what if there are numbers? Same thing. You could have a situation where, shooter, I will call a number, that number is your target. Two. Three. The primary goal of the ballistic problem solving program is to get you to think before you press the trigger. We can't just shoot rounds and say, oops, made a mistake. In the real world, if you put a bullet into something that shouldn't have a bullet in it, it could cost you a lot of money, it could cost you time because you're going to be in jail, or it could cost you your life. So during ballistic problem solving, what we're going to do is we're going to have you run through several scenarios, several drills that will force you to engage your brain, make a decision, and then start launching bullets. So we got to think, 
then we shoot because that's how it works in the real world. Okay, if I've got you excited, if I've given you just a little bit of taste and I've piqued your interest, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click up there. You want to sign up for the fall semester. Fall semester open enrollment is available right now. Now during our fall semester we're going to have Pistol 101, that's our fundamentals course. The next one will be Ballistic Problem Solving and then we're also going to have our Beyond the Band-Aid course. Now if you take the complete fall semester you can save a lot of money. So go ahead, click on the training banner, check it out, and reserve your seat today.